Hey, Mel from Canada. Much love from Nicole from Los Angeles. We are hanging out inside, keeping it chill, keeping the world safe as it heals. Thanks so much for reaching out and asking some awesome questions. I am so honored to get to bring Jill Valentine to life in this iteration of her journey. And it is awesome people like you that make these games happen. Um, so thank you for continuing to love the Resident Evil universe and for such a warm welcome um, into your world. I feel very grateful to get to, to nerd out and have a blast um, alongside so many passionate uh, fans and people. Um, as far as motion capture acting versus film acting, really good question. It's interestingly a, a discussion I feel like a lot of motion capture actors have with each other. We, we talk about it. I also do film, um, so I've been very lucky to get to perform both uh, in film and motion capture. And I think it's probably a different experience for, for everyone. It really depends on kind of how you as an artist approach a role. But I know some of the main differences is when we're working on a film, everything is super chopped up into many, many little pieces um, because the camera angles change and uh, there's really a huge dynamic with the cinematography of a movie and the camera position and how a story is being told. So you may have one camera, you're gonna do a close up of um, a scene and then you're gonna do a wide shot. So you end up doing the scene over and over in uh, little pieces and there's also a lot of really fun camera tricks that happen um, for stunts and some of the crazy um, fight sequences and action that happens in a lot of movies and that translates and looks different on the motion capture set because oftentimes uh, when you're performing motion capture we'll actually do longer sequences so we'll end up doing the full scene from uh, beginning to end with the opportunity to cut in the middle depending on um, the game and how the player experiences those cinematics so for example, if it's like a first person perspective, um, the motion capture may be different because there's not gonna be um, as many cuts uh, because the player is gonna experience it like through a first person perspective. However, if it is over the shoulder or like in RE3 where you can see um, the characters interact and you get to see Jill um, from behind her in gameplay and um, in front of her in the cinematics, uh, there's more cuts, so it's a little bit more cinematic and filmy, which is really, really cool. That said, we still tend to do longer takes. We'll do the full scene because they're capturing the entire range of motion from beginning to end. And um, a lot of the stunts and those pieces have like a specific way of being performed because essentially when you're on the mocap stage, while the director and the cinematic director may have an opinion about where the camera is going to be for those scenes um, in a game, when you're shooting it, there's no camera because you're being captured from all sides. There's hundreds of cameras. Um, so from that perspective, you're not necessarily cheating towards a particular angle, you're really uh, trusting your, your director and the people that are choreographing essentially the scene um, to help you know where to be. Occasionally you'll have like um, specific ways in which you do, like they're planning, uh, this is what it's gonna look like. And so we do need to be facing in a specific direction. Um, so I think motion capture um, gets incredibly technical, but so does film in a very different way. I've gone on a whole rant on the difference between the two. Clearly I'm passionate and that's just in technicalities of shooting. I think there are more fun things to explore based on technique and performance and, and what's expected in movies versus games. Um, and those conversations could go on forever. As far as this particular project, also my dog is coming to join. Welcome, you get a very special cameo because Puppy has come to join. Um, say hello, Puppy. We're talking about motion capture. It's very exciting. As far as, um, thank you. Thank you for the kisses. As far as this project, um, I'm getting to bring to life Jill Valentine. I was lucky to go through a pretty standard audition process that ended up being, you know, decently rigorous because they wanted to make sure that they found the right person because she's such an iconic character and means so much to so many different people. So I auditioned. Um, just like anyone else, and uh, had the opportunity to work with the creative team and 
other um, actors uh, in the auditions rooms and um, I think just really hit it off from a from a pretty early start with um, the creatives involved um, and we had a pretty awesome shared vision for what Jill was going to look like in this version of the game. So that's a little bit about me and what I do. Thanks so much for inquiring and uh, oh I do have one question for you. Do you want stars? Because I'll give you stars. Much love.